Police, I want to cut to the chase for Global Wall Street. There's two key questions. The FT mentions 14% of the balance sheet. You and I went back and forth that really when you narrow it down to what's on the balance sheet, you get out to as much as 20, 21% of the balance sheet. Is that true? It could be one fifth out the door? We're talking about the investment bank balance sheet, and um, you know, according to the FD story, these would be long dated, mostly long dated derivatives, um, but not so-called toxic assets. So um, you would have to assume that that would mean that um, you know it wouldn't cost them too much to run these off or sell them. What do you hear about employment, particularly in New York City? I mean, if you cut the balance sheet, by definition, you cut jobs. Do they do a geographic exercise, or do they do it at a margin, a little bit here, a little bit there? Well, you kind of have to read between the lines of this, you know, the, the information that we have so far. It does appear that um, <coughs> the U.S. is where the uh, business would be trimmed the most. That is, of course, the, the business that, according to analysts, is the most unprofitable, um, particularly the equities and, and the rates business. So, yes, you'd, you'd have to assume that that would mean jobs, um, which uh, I'm sure people will learn, love to learn more about soon. Um, but we may not hear anything um, for, for several weeks, um, according to the reports. Yeah, Elisa, when are we going to see a Deutsche Bank that's kind of seems to be, you know, forefronting some of these rumors or things like that? Because we did hear from the chief executive saying, look, I'm, I'm going to do big cuts in the investment bank, and then we never had the details. It's interesting. I think ever since, you know, the, the talks were abandoned with Commerce Bank, there has, has been the sort of drip feed of information, um, and investors are, you know, are clamoring to, to understand a little bit more about what he's got in mind, um, particularly given, um, you know, the, the pushback of the AGM. Uh, there's obviously a desire for there to be some kind of strategic plan to return the bank to sustainable profitability, which at the moment <coughs> doesn't appear to be in sight. How much time do shareholders give the current management team? I think it's, you know, he's been on the job for just over a year. He's obviously had to push his own side, his own plan aside for a little bit as he was kind of uh, pushed into considering this merger. Um, so you kind of need to, him to give him some time to, to come together, to come up with something. But I think, you know, you're really looking at the first half, the second, going into the, into the autumn, really, to be, for him to be stepping, uh, putting his, his stamp on where he sees the bank going forward.